Here are the materials and tools you'll need. You'll need access to patterns printed out from sciencetoymaker.org. It's important that the patterns not be resized, like a fit picture to page checkbox or something like that. And there's a scale check. An aluminum beverage can. It should not be dented or even have been dented and pushed back out. While a single edge razor or X-Acto is not essential, it is convenient. High quality scissors. Tape to hold things temporarily. I like masking tape because it's easier to get off than clear tape. A sharp corner. Usually this will be the sharp corner of a tabletop to fold the aluminum sheet. The corner must be sharp like these, not rounded like these. If you can't find a table with a sharp corner, sometimes the inside of a drawer or even a door frame works. A plastic identification or money card. A ruler, inch or metric. Related to that, you need something hard and flat to flatten aluminum folds. If the ruler you use for measuring is made out of wood, you could use that. If the ruler you're using for measuring is plastic like this, it won't work for flattening because it's not flat. So you'll need a block of wood or something. Some kind of marker. Three flexible plastic straws. I found that the quarter inch diameter, which is six millimeter, seems to work better than the thinner kind. Five minute or quick set epoxy, which is a two part glue that you mix up thoroughly. It comes in double syringes like this or tubes like this. You can use an epoxy with a longer cure time, but you'll have to wait around more. A little stick like a wooden matchstick to mix and apply the epoxy. Soap and towels for cleanup. A container that holds water for finding leaks. Scrap thin cardboard. An old cereal box works well. Low temperature hot glue gun. I know this sounds like an oxymoron, but the big 40 watt kind is too hot. It'll ruin the plastic straws. You need the lower power, cheaper kind with smaller glue sticks. This kind is much safer too. It's hard to burn yourself. Thin birthday party candles are the best fuel for the steam engine. Lots of people ask me about the low, wide, metal encased so-called tea candles. I think that they do not provide enough heat for maximum speed, especially in breezy outdoor conditions. But I have gotten feedback from people who have used tea candles and they're happy with them. A small amount of aluminum foil. When you've finished and tested the engine, you can decide what kind of boat to make for it. Quickest to make is a simple flat boat. For that I recycle thin foam trays that meats, poultry, and vegetables come in. You'll also need some coins and rubber bands. Alternately, or later when you have more time, you might decide to make a more three-dimensional boat. For that, you'll need a half gallon milk or juice carton. A friend from Australia uses the similar metric two liter beverage carton. And if you make this kind of boat hull, you'll need a stapler.